Welcome to Mongoose OS, an Azure IoT tutorial. Today I'll take this board from STMicro, IoT1 board, connect it to Microsoft Azure, and show how to work with device twin and OTA the board remotely. Let me connect the board and let's get started. I have mongooseos.com website opened. Go to developers documentation. Click on Cloud Tutorials, Microsoft Azure IoT. And follow the instructions step by step. First, set up Azure IoT Hub. Create an account on portalazure.com and set up your IoT Hub. I have an IoT Hub already created. Click on it and click on IoT Devices. I see no devices registered in my IoT Hub. The next step is to install AZ, Azure Command Line Utility, and log into Azure by typing AZ Login. AZ Login. And here I log into my Azure account, and that's done. So the next step is to set up device. Pick one of the supported devices and connect it to your workstation through the USB. So we've done that. Complete Quick Start Guide Steps 1 to 7 inclusive. Let me open that in another tab and follow the Quick Start. First, download and install MOS tool. I've done that. Second, start MOS tool. I type MOS without any argument type enter, that starts a UI. Okay, here it is. Step three, install USB to serial drivers if that's required. So in my case, it's not required because the serial port is recognized. And I switch to step four, create an app. Press Control N to create a new app. I press Control N. That command clones demo-js project into app1 directory. Step number five, build an app. So make sure the board is selected in the dropdown and then type MOS build and press enter. So I select the board, stmicro IoT1 and type MOS build, enter. So that starts a build process. It uses a remote server, but it can be done locally as well if the Docker is installed in your workstation. Okay, that's complete. Now step number six, make sure the port is selected and then type MOS flash. I select the port and type MOS flash. That flashed the firmware on this device. Step number seven, configure Wi-Fi. I copy this command and paste it and change Wi-Fi network name and the password. Press enter. And I can see in the logs that we've got an IP address so we've completed steps one to seven, and let me get back to the Azure tutorial. So the next thing is to provision a device to Azure IoT with this single command. Let me again copy it and paste it. So my Azure hub name is called Bellman, so I enter. And this command runs AZ utility to provision uh, my device. It generates certificates, copies them to, um, to the board, and configures MQTT client. All right, so that's done. Okay, I see messages from MQTT that about the successful connection, and I see that we now print online true. So that means that we are connected to Azure IoT. 
in my device hub, I see a new device. Let me click on it. Let me open a device twin. So here it is. If I click on refresh, you can see how the version changes. So the default firmware reports every second some metrics, specifically uptime. So you can see how uptime changes. The firmware that we've built contains code that synchronizes uh, device LED with the desired.on twin setting. Let me switch to the device twin and add a desired on true and save it. So you can see how this LED was turned on. If I set it to false and save again, it should turn off. So it turned off. I can turn it on again. So this demonstrates how a device could easily be controlled by the device twin. I'm going to skip this IoT button section and show the uh, OTA ability. I won't show the bulk OTA. I will just update this one single device. So to show the OTA, um, I will modify the existing firmware and make some change to it. For example, now it prints online true message and let me change it to something different. So I click on this folder button and that opens a file dialog with the current directory. So I open fsinit.js file. It contains a JavaScript code for this default firmware. So and here I see how the message gets printed print online and the current state. So let me change it to my online and let me save it. So now let me type MOS build again to rebuild this firmware. And I will not flash it, but instead I will OTA it and so the OTA procedure will keep the current configuration. It will keep the Wi-Fi config. It will keep the um, Azure IoT provisioning information on a device, although it will change the logic. Uh, a new firmware got built. MongoOS OS provides multiple ways to OTA this device, like many. And one of them is to OTA through the device twin. One of the libraries that's compiled in the default firmware observes a desired OTA URL parameter. And if it changes, it pulls the new firmware from the specified URL and updates the device. So let me copy this new firmware to our website. And I go to device twin, HTTPS, mongooseos.com downloads tmp fw.zip and press save so now let me scroll down to the reported section and you can see the OTA progress message and progress percent appears that means the firmware gets downloaded and also if I switch to the device messages I can see these progress messages as well so let me wait until the end so it's 82% 88 97 100 and we see a reboot. Okay, it boots a new firmware and you can see how it prints my online instead of just online. So that means the firmware runs a new code. And now let's make sure it's really online. So go to the device twin, refresh the twin and you can see how uptime metric 
goes up. So that means the device is alive. So what I've shown here is how to work with device twin and the OTA ability of the Mongoose OS. If you liked this video, please click on like button below and tell other people who might be interested in it. Thanks for watching.